Okay, we're gonna plant some peanuts now. I'm just gonna use the the cedar here just to dig the trench. Then I'll place these in by hand. Hey, Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. Welcome back. We just got done planting the garden. Now it's time to go ahead and get working on the doors for the barn. We're going to be working on the loft door today. All right, the loft is 55 inches tall. The loft door is going to be 55 inches tall. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my first one here, 56. Then I can square up the end in a second. These are 14 foot boards, so it's pretty unhandy to try to square up an end. So I'll just cut an extra inch and square up that piece. There, I'm going to need four full ones like this and two partial ones to do the whole width of the door. We're going to do the door in two parts, a left door and a right door. There's the four full pieces. And I think I got some scrap in here. Okay, so we're gonna have a full one. Another full one. And we're gonna to go to the partial one. So I think I'm gonna take an inch and a half off the tongue side of two of these. Then I'll trim this one up to make my exact 23 and three quarters. So I'm gonna take an inch and a half off the tongue for two of them. Then I'll trim off the last piece to make it 23 and three quarters. Well, since I got my miter saw out, I'm also gonna cut my door boards. Let's see what I need for height on those. Oh, she's coming out to be 68 and a quarter. So if I go 67 and three quarters, sixty-seven and three quarters. That gives me a quarter inch of play at the top and the bottom. We 
we got our loft doors cut at 55 inches high. I need 23 and 3 quarters total width on each door. So I'm going to take two of these and I'm going to cut them down to 7 and 3 quarters. I'll take the tongues off. Okay, there's the two doors. I gotta go ahead and put them together. I'm gonna put three rails in this way. So I need six of those, 23 and a half. Okay, I got my cross pieces for the back cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my front. Now one of the doors on the front is gonna have overlapping. So what I'm gonna do is let's, I'm gonna take the left hand, let's call this the left hand door for the loft doors up there. They're 55, I'm gonna make them 57. I'm gonna overhang them each an inch, the top and the bottom also overhanging an inch over here so it covers up the gap when this door this door will close first this door closes second it'll lay on top of this door this door is going to need a 57 but i'm going to set this one back here going this way leave a little space here so this one can overlap it
Okay, here's my two upright pieces. My six cross pieces for the front. I got six cross pieces for the back. Now I gotta cut the backs 23 and a half. There, I got a stop set up. Okay, there's the back braces. Okay, I think I'm gonna overhang this three quarters of an inch. Now this piece here's got to be twenty and three eighths. Okay, that'd be the left hand door. Now let me pop the right hand door up there and see how that one looks. Now this one's got to back off because this one's going to overlap this one. So I'm going to back this one off an inch and that gives me 18 and a half. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill these in with four inch strips. 55 i'm gonna overhang up here three quarters of an inch down here three quarters that's an inch and a half that's 56 and a half minus four minus four minus four 56 and a half minus 12 is 46 and a half 44 and a half divided by two is 22 and a quarter so i got to make four 22 and a quarters to fit in between Okay, I'm going to tack this with some inch and a quarter staples.
So half of 55 is 27 and a half. Uh, before this sets up, I'm going to go ahead and check my diagonals. Make sure she's close. I got 59 and 7 eighths that way. Fifty nine and seven eighths that way. So good. I'm pleased with that. Okay, have the second door done on the back anyways. Let's check his diagonal. Fifty-nine and seven eighths. Good. All right, let's lay them down on their back now, and let's start doing the the front boards. Okay, that's going to be my left hand door. You can see the door up there in the loft, the opening anyways. That's going to be my left side. And that's going to be the side with the overlapping um, upright. Because the wind usually blows this direction from this, if it's blowing out of the east. So we're gonna overlap here. Let me put the glue on it first. There we go. We'll put that down. So I want this an inch here, overlapping. And I want it three quarters of an inch this way. That looks good there, so I'm just gonna tack that in place. Okay, we'll put this one in next. That one gets glued flush.
Okay, I'll put that one in next. This one will go in next. Okay, and there's our door. This will be the hinge side here. This will be the overlap side. And that door's done. We'll stain that red and they'll be ready to put the hinges on and put up onto the barn. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. I'll be back with you when I'm ready to stain. Okay, here's my right hand door. The only thing that's different about this one is that I left a lip here for the other one to close onto it. So this would be my first door that closes and my other door will close over on top of that one. I'm going to set those out on some saw horses, let them let the glue set up, then I'll be standing those in a little bit. Okay, we're finishing up the man door for the back of the barn. This is going to be on hinges. The front has the We got the overlapping three quarters of an inch here for a stop. I used two by fours on the back. They've been nailed with a framing nailer. They've been glued. Hey, it's way too windy out here to stain these today. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. Thanks for coming along on our video today. I appreciate it. I'd also ask that you share these on social media, share them with your friends and family and anybody else you think might be interested. I really do appreciate that. Have a great day. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.